Are you trying to figure out how to add an FAQ or like a question and answer section to your Google My Business profile? If that's the case, you made it to the right video. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com and on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, website tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to make running your online business a little less overwhelming. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be diving into how to create a FAQ or a Q&A or a question and answer, <laughs> however you wanna say it, section on your Google My Business profile. So let's just get into it. Okay, so if you're watching this tutorial, I'm assuming that you already have a Google My Business already set up. If you don't, just go to Google and type in Google My Business, skip over these ads here, and then click on this one right here. So actually, at the time of this recording, Google just changed the name from Google My Business to Google Business Profile. Same thing. Okay, so you would just click on here and then manage now, sign up, whatever, whatever, to kind of go through the steps to setting up your Google My Business profile. Once you already have a Google My Business profile, which I'm going to be saying Google My Business a lot in this video, just a heads up, okay? So... In order to add like a questions and answers section or like that FAQ section, what we're going to want to do is go to Google and just Google your business name. Okay, so when you Google your business name, essentially you are going to see your Google business profile information coming up right here. This is your Google My Business like profile snippet essentially okay so the faq what we're talking about is right here it says questions and answers and we want to take the time to kind of build out this section here okay so a lot of people think that the only way to build out this faq questions and answers section why can i not say answers today <laughs> uh you have to like wait for people to like randomly ask you questions on here, but that's not the case. Actually, as of right now, Google is recommending that business owners go in and populate their own questions and answers. And the reason is, is because Google's a business, okay? So Google wants to be able to give its users the best solution to the problem. And how we do that is typically by educating the consumer, by answering their questions and things like that. So even when it comes to like SEO and rankings, like on maps and like Google My Business, if it's you versus your competitor and you have taken the time to build out a helpful Q&A section on this profile, your listing might show up before your competitors because you're being more helpful to the people that could potentially be your customers or clients, okay? So I'm not saying that like you building this out will make you bump up like 17 places because if you guys aren't aware, there's a lot of things that go into Google rankings, but I will say that this can make a difference because building this section out, it's just, it's helpful for the user and that's what Google likes, okay? So basically, before we go and build this out, what I recommend doing, open up a Google Sheet and kind of just like start listing off your FAQs. So like, what questions do your clients ask you? When people call you on the phone, when they're sending you an email, sending you a DM on Instagram, like what questions are they asking about your services or your products or whatever? So I suggest kind of like building out that document before we start inputting anything and like making you try to come up with answers on the fly, okay? So that's what I would suggest doing. Also, we're not creating this FAQ FAQ to be spammy, okay? We're not gonna ask like random questions just to push people to our services when like those questions weren't even helpful to begin with, okay? So we are not doing that. What we are doing is thinking of the questions that our people are actually asking us. And if you don't have like your clients or your customers asking you questions, that's okay. Check out your competitors. Google your competitors and see if they have filled out their questions and answers section. And I'm not saying to copy that, but use it as inspiration to build out yours. Or you can go to your competitors' websites. Do they have like an FAQ section on their website, but maybe they haven't infused those into this in their Google My Business profile, okay? So there's a bunch of ways to kind of come up with this stuff. But basically, 
what you're going to want to do is click ask a question and then I'm just going to copy these. It just makes it super easy when you create it in a doc. Also, Google does have a character limit for answers. OK, so we're not writing huge paragraphs. We want to be concise. We want to be helpful. Think of your client and customer. There is no manipulating this. There is no manipulating Google. Just try to be helpful. So we're going to go ahead and post. I'm going to ask another one. I'm just going to paste all of these questions in here first, just so it makes it kind of easy to go in and do this. OK, so I'm going to click post right here and then click done. OK, so now you see that we have these questions that our clients or potential customers could potentially be wondering about. OK, so now we can come in here and answer them as the business owner. So I always recommend just thumbs up in it. Give the question a like, OK? So just hit like, and then we're going to answer this question. So on all websites, I'm going to go ahead and just pop this one in here and then click post. OK, cool. So let's go back. Do you do this? We're going to like it. Google AdWords one. And I'm going to keep doing this for all of the questions that I've gone in and asked. So once you do that, you can click the X here and then we can try refreshing the page to see if the questions and answers show up. But usually it's not that quick. OK, so I did want to bring up just one of my old clients and just show you kind of what it can look like. So she is an interior designer. If we scroll down, she did the same thing here. So she went in, asked the question and then answered it from the front end facing here. So we're just going to see what it looks like. So the question here whoop, and then the answer here. OK, so what I do want to tell you is that this FAQ section, this Google My Business stuff, this is like a online forum. OK, so technically anybody on the web can ask a question and they can answer it. OK, so as the owner of the Google My Business listing, just make sure that you're kind of coming in here and keeping track of things. If your business is new or maybe you don't have a lot of traffic yet, you might not really have to spend a lot of the time managing things because people don't know about your business as much yet, and that's fine. But just remember that these questions and answers can be generated by the viewers, by the users, and things like that, okay? So the other thing that I wanted to show you is when we go in here and we ask a question, I'm just going to start typing this. And you guys might have noticed this already. So I'm just going to type in the question that I asked before, because this is what can come up too. If you have reviews on your Google My Business profile, the answer like this can be helpful for the clients that are asking the question. OK, so you might notice that if Google thinks that a review that has been placed on your Google My Business profile is helpful to the person asking the questions, the review can show up here on the right hand side. So the user will still have the chance to ask the question, but they will also be able to see related reviews on the right hand side. And so I think that this is all kind of created just to make it helpful for potential clients and customers to be able to see helpful answers to the questions. So essentially, I would just give it a little bit to see if these questions populate which they will. It kind of just takes some time, but that's about it. I hope that this video was helpful. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. And if you have any other questions about Google My Business, about SEO, any of that stuff, make sure that you leave a comment below this video so that I know that you guys are enjoying this content. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.